So typically in any kind of a pressure vessel, any kind of metallic component, the welds are gonna be the, the weakest link. So if you can completely eliminate a weld, that's ideal. And that's what we do with our half pipe weld. So if you don't have a butt joint, the benefit of that is typically you won't have a defect just form in the material. It's typically gonna be at a weld. So if you don't have all these welds, these butt joint welds throughout the pressure vessel, typically you're not gonna have as many issues. A half pipe jacket reactor is it's exactly what it sounds like. You take a piece of pipe and its outer segmented section is wrapped helically around the entire exterior of the shell. It might be just a portion of the shell, it may be on the bottom head, the top head, but those those are heat transfer portions. So you're you're transferring heat indirectly to the product that's inside the vessel. So most industrial processes, you are trying to do something, you're trying to create some kind of new material you might have a catalyst. That catalyst will be introduced into the vessel, but something else has to get this catalyst moving, get this reaction to occur. In this industry, a lot of people want to be the jack of all trades. They'll see a quote come in and like, yep, we can form it, we can build it. Half pipe jackets are not as simple as just rolling and welding. The half pipe jacket reactor needs experience needs to understand metallurgy, how it moves, the welding engineering, what backing gases to use to achieve full penetration weld. There's still a lot of fabricators out there that will actually take a pipe, they'll roll it, they'll cut it with a grinder, so it's like a cutoff wheel, cut that into a half of a pipe, attach it to the vessel, and then tack it all on there and then weld it up. What we do is we'll take a strip, We'll form it and we'll fit it around the vessel and then we'll go and we'll weld it onto the vessel. And we can go hundreds of feet without a single butt joint. We have the ability to put on various sizes of half pipe. We have the ability to put on various material types onto various material types and thicknesses and diameters of, of the actual vessel itself. So really there's, there's almost no limits to where we can put the half pipe on or materials or sizes or thicknesses. It is so important to have a fabrication partner with years of experience, not only in the one-offs, but supporting the customers with the agitations, the baffles, bringing it home as a complete package. One of the most important areas is in the bottom end of the vessel. And you know, a typical application, that's gonna be a dead zone of heat transfer. And being the most, one of the most important parts of the vessel is you're transferring that heat toward the outlet is if you lose that heat transfer in that area, it could be detrimental to the process. And what Enterfab can do is we can install that half pipe jacket up beyond the dished portion of the head over the knuckle region. It, it's increased heat transfer area, but in one of the most important areas of the vessel. We have a process where we go and we will weld full penetration with an automated process, both sides at one time. They are able to weld from outside and then achieve a fillet weld on the inside of that joint. The benefit of that is you have that consistent weld profile. So you decrease any concerns with fatigue down the road, but you also are putting a lot of heat. You have to be pretty high amperage, pretty high voltage, you have to have that energy to actually melt the half pipe and melt the vessel shell itself. So what we will do is we will scan the ID of a vessel to verify there's no discontinuities that form at the root of that weld. So we're able to actually go in there and do that ultrasound testing and verify there's no defects. Everything that we touch day to day goes through a pressure vessel. So a half pipe reactor is nothing new. If you look in your basement, all of the pipes that are in your house, the siding that's on your house, anything that's made of PVC, 
likely went through a half pipe jacket reactor. So what makes NRFED unique in tackling these half pipe projects is when you come to us, we're going to tell you what you asked for, but we're also going to bring our years of expertise to it and say, okay, you've requested stainless half pipe on a Hastel AC-276 vessel. Well, the thermal coefficients of those two materials, they don't work well together. You know, as you, as you induce heat, you're going to have thermal cracking over time because of the expansion contraction at different rates. So you're going to get an industry knowledge from us of all these years, all these, you know, this experience that we have not just here's your price i'll build what you're asking for you're going to get a piece of equipment that is optimized and is going to be the longest performing piece of equipment you're going to receive in the industry